Blakey. I'm Commissioner Blake, and I'll be reading for Children's Day today. Get ready. The book I'll be reading, the story Julian tells. The pudding like a night on the sea. I'm going to be making special for your mother, my father said. My mother was out shopping. My father was in the kitchen, looking at the pots and pans and jars and this and that. What are you doing? What are you gonna make, I said. A pudding, he said. My father is a big man with wild black hair. When he laughs, the sun in the window panes shake. When he thinks, you can almost see his thoughts sitting on the side of the table and the chairs. When he's angry, me and my brother, huh, little Huey, we shiver to the bottom of our shoes. What kind of pudding will you make, Huey said. A wonderful pudding, my father said. It will taste like a whole raft of lemons. It will taste like the night on the sea. Then he took down a knife and sliced five lemons in half, and he squeezed the first one. Juice squirted in my eyes. Stand back, he said. I'm squeezing again. The seeds flew on the floor. Pick up those seeds, Huey, he said. Huey took the broom and swept them up. My father cracked some eggs and put yolk in the pan and whites in the bowl. He rolled up his sleeve, then pushed back his hair and beat up the yolks. Sugar, Julian, he said, and I poured the sugar in the pan. He went on beating and then putting the lemon into the and the lemon juice and the cream and he set the pan on the stove. The pudding bubbled and he stirred it fast. Cream splashed on the stove, wiped up, wiped it up and wiped it up. Huey, he said, wipe it up. Huey did. It was hot by the stove. My father loosened his collar and pushed up his sleeves. Then the stuff in the pot was getting thicker and thicker. He held the beater up higher in the air. Just right, he said. And he sniffed and smelled of the pudding. It smelled delicious. He wiped the egg whites and mixed them into the pudding. The pudding looked softer and lighter than air. Done, he said. He washed all the pots. <clears throat> Splashing water on the floor and wiping the counter so fast his hair made circles around his head. Perfect, he said. Now I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to do something important. Something important is going to happen. Don't bother me. If nothing's important happens, don't bother me. And then the pudding is for your mother. Leave the pudding alone. He went to the living room and was asleep in a minute. Sitting straight up in the chair, Huey and I guarded the pudding. Oh, it's wonderful pudding, Huey said, with waves on the top like oceans. It, sound, it sounded wonderful. I said, wonderful. I wonder how it tastes, Huey said. Leave the pudding alone, I said. If I just put my finger in it, there, I know how it tastes, Huey said. And he did. He knew how it tastes. You did it. I said, how does it taste? It tastes like a whole raft of lemons. He said, it tastes like a night on the sea. You've made a hole in the pudding. I said, but since you did, I have to taste it. And it tasted like a night on the lemons. It tasted like night floating on the sea. It's such a big pudding, Huey said. I can't hurt to have a little more. Since you took more, I'll have to take more, I said. That was bigger, thicker, and he took it. Huey said, I'm going to have more again. Woo! I said, you put a whole hand in it. Huey said, look at the pudding. You spilled it on the floor. I'm going to clean it up, I said. And I took the rag from the sink. That's not really clean, Huey said. 
It's the best I could do, I said. Look at the pudding, Huey said. It looks like a craft of a moon. We have to smooth it over, I said. So it looks like it didn't get touched before. And when even the top of the pudding of the spoon, it, went, it was not even. We went to eat more. There's much, not much left, I said. We were supposed to leave the pudding alone, Huey said. We better get out of the way. We better get away from here, I said. We ran into the bedroom, crawled into the bed, and went under the bed. After a long time, we heard my father's voice. Come into the kitchen, dear, he said. I have something for you. Why, what is it? My mother said, out in the kitchen, under the bed, Huey and I pressed ourselves to the wall. Look, said my father, out in the kitchen, a wonderful pudding. Where is the pudding, my mother said. Where are the boys, my father? His voice went through cracks of the corners of the house. We felt like, to, we felt like two leaves in a storm. Where are you, I said, my father's voice booming. Huey whispered to me, I'm scared, I'm scared. We heard my father walking slowly through the room. Huey said, uh, uh, he called Julian. We, can, we could see his feet. He was coming into the, our room. He lifted the bed spread up. There's our faces. His face looked black like black lightning. He grabbed us by the legs and pulled. Stand up, he said. We stood. What do you have to tell me? He said. We went outside, Huey said, and went. when we came back, the pudding was gone. Then why were the, why are you hiding under the bed? I don't understand, my father said. We didn't say anything. We looked at the floor. I called, and I can tell you one thing, he said. There is going to be some beating here now. There's going to be some whipping. The curtains and the windows were shaking. Huey was holding my hand. Go into the kitchen, my father said, right now. We went into the kitchen. Come here, Huey, my father said. Huey walked towards him his hands behind his back. See these eggs, my father said. He cracked them in the, in the pudding. He cracked them and put the yolk in the pan and set the pan on the counter. He stood a, a chair by the counter and stood up here. He said to Huey, Huey stood on the chair by the counter. Now it's time for you, your, for your beating, my father said. Huey started crying. His tears fell on, on the egg yolks. Take this, my father said. My father handed him the egg beater. Now beat these eggs, he said. I want this to be a good beating. Oh, Huey said, stop crying and he will be beating the yolk. Now you, Julian, stand here, my father said. I stood on a chair by the table. I hope you're ready for your whipping. I didn't answer. I was afraid to say yes or no. Here, he said, and he set the eggs in the front of me. I want you to whip and whip and whip well. Yes, sir, I said and started whipping. My father watched us. My mother came into the kitchen and watched us. After I was beating the eggs, and after a while, Huey said, this is hard work. That's too bad, my father said. You're beating done. And he added sugar, cream, lemon juice to Huey's pan and put the pot on the stove, and Huey went on beating. My arms hurt from whipping. I said, too bad, my father said, your whipping is not done. So I whipped and whipped, and Huey beat and beat. Hold the beater in the air. Hold it, Huey, my father said. Huey, hold it in the air. 
See, my father said, I want the pudding to start beating and beating and beating. It's thicker enough now. Your beating is done. Then he turned to me and let, and let <laughs> and let's see the egg whites, Julian. He said they were puffed and fluffy. Congratulations, Ju Julian, he said. Your whipping's done. He mixed the egg whites into the pudding himself. Then he pressed the pudding to my mother. A wonderful pudding, she said. Would you like some, boys? No, thanks, we said. She picked up a spoon while this was tasting a whole raft of lemons. She said, this tastes like the night on the sea. I hope you enjoyed the story of Julian and Huey and the lesson that they learned by not touching and following instructions from their, from their father because he wanted to make a good surprise for the father, but they learned a good lesson and they didn't really get a beating. The beating was all in the pudding. Thank you for, again for listening.